Okay, so we know the story about the woodchucks. We know they've been infiltrated my home, and we thought that we got rid of them. But within the last, what, 48 hours, I've learned something new. The woodchuck has a family, and a new generation is starting to infiltrate my home. Now what do we do? Do we declare war on the entire family? I don't know. This is Have Faith, Let It Begin. And we have another woodchuck story. And it starts right now. Broadcasting live worldwide. Have Faith, Let It Begin. When it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let It Begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Again. Let it begin? Again. Say have faith. Again. Let it begin. No, no. No? no? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it say. Let it say. Yeah. Good morning. You're listening to Half Faith Lab again, and it starts right now. How is that, Daddy? It was good. This is a special edition of Half Faith Let It Begin. That's right, the woodchucks are back, and they're really starting to get on my nerves. Okay, so let's get right into it. So, as you know, the last time I saw that the woodchucks had digged a new hole in the in between my sheds, I said I was going to go out and do all that I could to try my best to cover up a new hole. Well... Guess what? There's not just one. There's not just two. There's three holes. That's right. Three holes. But it gets worse. It does. How do you, I know you're thinking, how does this get worse? Well, it's quite simple. The woodchuck has a family. Did you hear me? The woodchuck has a family. So now, we've got ourselves a little problem. We've got Mama Woodchuck, Papa Woodchuck, and Little Woodchuck Jr. or Princess Woodchuck. That's right. I'm naming them. So, I don't want to hurt these little guys. Okay? Let's just be real. And I know everybody's thinking, what kind of episode is this, Angel? What does this have to do with Half Faith Let It Begin? You know I'm going to tie it all in. But sometimes we need a little entertainment um, and a lot of you just get amusement out of my frustrations of the woodchuck. So with that being said, it's a Tuesday. Humor me. And uh, hear me through. So, yesterday I left work later than usual. And I went and picked up some cement. That's right. I went and got some cement. Um, I knew that it was time to try that new concrete cement you just add water mix it up rub it around get those shovels out and start plugging up the holes and then top it off with some dirt and that's what I did yesterday thank you I appreciate that thank you very much so everything is all capped up everything looks great all the holes are just completely filled up. I went around the entire yard, made sure there was no additional holes, and everything is a go. So, I took some pictures, and then I went to sleep. But I was woken up by a bell, and my alarm went off, and I checked the video cameras, and wouldn't you know, Papa Woodchuck showed up in the house again, in the yard, and now he's looking to dig a new hole because everywhere he went, he saw 
that it was covered up. And at one point, I could tell you, he was looking at the camera. I'm telling you, this guy was looking at the camera. And he was looking at the camera, and I feel like he was saying, is that all you got? So, we're just going to have to see, wait and see what else comes up. But there's a message here. You know, in life, we will accomplish a lot of things. We will have our good days and our bad days. We will have our triumphs. We will have our victories. And we'll have our defeats. But one thing we have to remember is that no matter how many times we feel like we've been pushed down or pushed around, you can never give up. You always have to find a, a way to believe in yourself, to trust in your abilities. Sometimes you're not the greatest with tools or you're not the greatest in making things up, myself included. I'm not great at uh, handy work. I'm not the greatest handy person. But when you buy you know, cement and it just says add water, it's kind of like making giant pancakes. And you move it around and you make it work. You follow directions. And when you do accomplish something that you're not used to doing, when you do challenge yourself and you overcome what you think in your mind is something you cannot achieve, it feels tremendous. It feels amazing. It allows you to realize that you can accomplish anything if you just put your mind to it. And that is what today's message is really all about. Yes, in the beginning, entertainment purposes, we're talking about the woodchuck story. But throughout all of it, I kept thinking to myself, should I just hire somebody to take care of this? Should I just give up? Should I just let them win? No. It's my home. And I have to protect it. And the reason why it's been frustrating is because while they're digging holes where they are, they did cut an electric wire that was to my third shed. So now it has become an issue where I'm going to have to realign electricity to a third shed. So I don't want the little guys to get electrocuted and I certainly don't want to see anyone go through the type of problems that I'm going going through. Sorry, somebody just cut me off and I had to honk the horn. But we have to just remember that no matter what happens in life, we can do anything we put our minds to it. So let's say a prayer for this crazy guy that just decided to zigzag doing about maybe 90 miles an hour and almost causing an accident. Let's pray for that individual to arrive to their destination safely, shall we? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for drivers out there. We pray for them to have patience, understanding. We pray for them to not feel like they can bully people all over the road. We pray for brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, and uncles, grandparents. We pray for new beginnings, new understandings. We ask you, Lord, to watch over our brothers and sisters as they move around and do what they can to help their families out. We pray for the Mid Midwest and all those that are battling storms upon storms and now having to rebuild due to the crazy tornadoes that are happening. We pray for these volcanoes that are going off in Iceland to, to just dissipate. We pray for our world to heal and the politicians to kind of grow up and get along. Because when you fight amongst each other, that doesn't help others. When you communicate and realize that what you're fighting for is not about I. It's about we the people. We pray that somehow this world will find a way to get along. And lastly, we pray for every single person out there at Half Faith Let It Begin. We hope that each and every one of you will continue to do all that you can to be a better person. So, as we close out this June 4th edition of Half Faith Let It Begin on a Tuesday, we ask all of you to allow God into your homes, into your life, into your heart. Because God loves you, God believes in you, God trusts you, and God is never going to leave your side. 
And we pray for the woodchucks. I mean, they try to find new homes and stop, try, stop trying to infiltrate mine and cut electrical wires. We want you to be safe. And we pray this unto you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. And never forget, have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to Have Faith Let It Begin. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day. Right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you for listening to Have Faith for Begin. We'll be back tomorrow.